Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. Today I am heading to a very exciting event and I thought I'll just show you guys how I do my makeup. Over the past few months on my TikTok, in my DMs, literally everywhere, I've had so many questions asking me to do a makeup tutorial. So that is what I'm going to do today. This is just going to be my basic go-to what I do when I do my makeup. This is the makeup I do literally every single time I'm going to take photos, make content, go out, literally do anything. And while I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to be showing you guys a few of my favorite white fox pieces that I've been loving this month. And I've been loving them because they're just the perfect pieces for that awkward in-between weather where it's like hot but it's also not really hot. And I've just been living in them and I love them so I want to show you guys a few of them. I haven't done any sort of skin prep or anything at all yet. I pretty much woke up not too long ago so my skin feels super oily and just gross so I'm going to prep my skin. First thing is first, I can't not have my bunny ears on before i jump into this video i also just want to let you guys know real quick that white fox offer after pay for all australian united states and new zealand customers and that they offer free express shipping worldwide i do have a cheeky little discount code as always it is saskia in all caps for 15 percent off so don't forget to pop that in when you're checking out all right let's get into it first things first is skin prep this isn't crazy this is literally just like what i do to make my skin less oily because i get very oily skin i go in with some witch hazel this stuff is amazing it literally just strips my skin and makes it feel very clean afterwards and i literally just go in everywhere with this stuff once i've cleaned up my skin with some witch hazel i just go in with a moisturizer to add that moisture back into my skin i use this fenty skin instant reset recovery cream i love this stuff so much it feels so light which is why i use it just before my makeup just so that my makeup doesn't feel too heavy Okay, starting with brows, I get the Gimme Brow Plus Volumizing Pencil by Benefit. If I'm not doing a full glam look, I would just use the pencil itself. But because I'm doing a full glam and I want this makeup to last for hours, I also use the Anastasia Dip Brow in shade Soft Brown. This pencil is also shade 3.5. But I'm not using the pencil today. I'm just going to use the brush end to brush up my brows to give a little bit of volume. I don't like my brows too hectic. I literally just draw a straight line right underneath my brow and brush the product up, leaving the product pretty heavy in the tail and then barely anything in the front. So once I've done the line underneath the brow, it should look something like this. And I literally just do little strokes, pushing the product up and then leaving it pretty heavy in the tail. So now that my brows are done, let's jump into the first outfit. I think this is literally the perfect summer staple. So I've got this white cami tank. And I love pairing that with these skirts. I love built-in shorts with a mini skirt. Honestly, it makes wearing these so much more comfortable. So I've just put them inside out. Here you can see the shorts. And there's also a split in the side of the leg, which I love. Everyone knows that I love a little split in my mini skirts. This tank is actually so comfortable. It's really thick. I don't think the camera will be able to pick this up, but there is mesh lined on the inside as well Obviously you can mix match these however you like, but these two together are so stunning So now we need to carve these brows out. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade 27H Light Medium Honey And I literally just go right underneath that line that I created with the brow pomade And it should look a little something like that and then I'll go in and do the same on the other side Once I've done that on both sides, I get the excess concealer and literally just go all over my lid I then go in with a damp beauty blender and blend that all over my lid Once that's all blended in, I go in with the Kat Von D translucent powder I've been using this powder for a while now and I actually really like it And I just get the excess of what's on the lid and go all over my eyelid 
to really set that concealer in. So now my eyelids are all set and ready for eyeshadow. But before I do that, I'm going to jump into my next outfit. I think by now everyone knows that I'm just a sucker for basic sets. I just had to show you this really cute baby tee and mini skirt together. I feel like the camera just doesn't do it justice. It's such a pretty like gray color it's just such a thin light soft breathable material which is why i think this is just perfect for summer and my favorite thing about this is the little frill detail at the bottom of the shirt and of the skirt as well these two together are such a perfect little outfit it's so casual once again thin waistband so it's not going to dig into your skin it's going to be super comfy and i actually also have the same thing in this steel blue color i love this color it really complements my skin tone when i have a tan on it's the same concept as the shirt and skirt i just showed you but in a different color but i had to chuck this in here because i love this color so much i've already worn this a few times and i just have literally fallen in love with it i don't have any steel blue in my wardrobe so i thought this would be a perfect summer essential moving on to eyeshadow i swear by this palette i will literally never use another palette i love morphe eyeshadows and this palette just has absolutely everything i need like everything i need in eyeshadow is in this palette here so this palette is the dare to create 39a just look at this palette tell me there's not literally everything you need in this palette you can obviously tell which ones i use the most Throughout my crease, I put in the lighter brown and then sometimes, only sometimes, I've only recently stopped using this all the time, I'll put that in the corner and blend it together and then I will do a wing with the black. When doing wings liner, I never use liquid liner. I only use liquid liner if I'm doing an inner corner. But for the outer wing, I always use eyeshadow. I love the look that it gives and I feel like it's just way, way easier to create a wing when using eyeshadow i don't know if i should use the darker brown or not i don't really i'm not trying to go like crazy for the purpose of the youtube video i am going to use the dark brown for you guys i go in with this raggedy ass looking brush for the transition shade i'm going to use this one right here and i literally only go on the outside i don't bring this all the way to the inside of my crease just because i like all of the product to be on the outside of my eye because i feel like it just opens the eye so much more when i have all the product on the outside i bring it across to about halfway not even and i keep that product really high up as well i don't go below my crease once i'm happy with how that transition shade looks i go in with the darker brown i just get literally the tiniest tiniest bit tap off the excess and dab it right in the outer corner I then go in with another random blending brush and buff it outwards and blend it into that transition shade. So it should look a little something like this. Then for the final step, the eyeliner. I'm going to tell you how I do this first before doing it. Otherwise, I'm just going to mess it up. I will start with the winged line at the very bottom of my eye because I like my eyeliner to calm down like low. Like I like it like more of like a straight look to give me that really like elongated siren eye sort of look. So I start right at the bottom and bring it up slightly and to make it more of like a thicker sort of line i start from the crease the end of the crease of my eyelid and connect it to the end of the wing and then once i've done that i literally just keep going over it and over it okay, i'm going to do the other side and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like i've just finished that eyeliner on the other eye and it should look a little something like this i grab a makeup wipe and clean up the edges to make it look a little bit sharper all right so that is pretty much eyeshadow done i promise once everything else is on my face it will look all put together moving on to my next outfit this outfit is literally iconic i wore this for my birthday and i am so in love with it and i've also just had this thing for jumpsuits recently i love a good jumpsuit this is her so she's got the little diamante detail right down the front with little cutout holes there's another little diamante which hooks onto a piece of fabric and closes up at the back this has got to be the most flattering jumpsuit that i have ever worn so this is a one size fits all because it is 
that really stretchy material. It says white fox in the fabric, which I think is so cool. This was literally the moment on my birthday. I felt like the baddest bitch in this outfit. And it's just one of those outfits that you could wear a million times again. I love her so much. Moving on to face. Now this is where everything gets a little bit more exciting. Firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime. I use the Fenty Skin. I don't even know what it's actually called. But it is different to the first Fenty Skin moisturizer that I put on. This one has SPF 15 in it and it's definitely a bit more of a thicker moisturizer. I get about two pumps and I just put that all over my face. I think it's because it's such a velvety feel. My skin always just feels incredible. And I blend that right down into my neck as well. I go in with the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer by Charlotte Tilbury. This gives a really kind of like shimmery, glowy look underneath your foundation. I've only been using this product for three months and I, without a doubt, have used it every single time I do my makeup. I even wear this by itself when I just can't be bothered to do makeup and I just want more of a glowy kind of look. And you will literally see the difference once I blend this in. It almost makes your skin look like you've got sparkles. Like, it is so glossy and glowy. Look at that difference already. Look at that shine in my face. Okay, moving on to foundation. One thing about me. One thing about me. I'm the baddest. Okay, one thing about me was that I literally switch foundations like that. Like, I... I'm always rotating my foundations and I have different foundations for different occasions. Today, I am going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is a really glowy, pretty foundation. I was using this religiously and I still do if I want a really, really full coverage. Like it has to last hours and hours and hours. The Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. I've gotten so many of my friends onto it. If you are looking for a good full coverage foundation, this is it. This is it. I fucking love this. I'm going to be using this in 8 Warm Chord. I don't, I don't know how you say it. 8 Warm Chord. Chord, chord, I don't know. One pump goes a long way with this stuff. Grab a wet beauty blender and blend her in. Please blend down your neck. Did you hear that? All right, I'm just gonna let that sit for two seconds. I look ridiculous, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Moving on to my next outfit, I've got this strappy little knit mini dress. I am obsessed with this. I love it so much. It just sits around your neck and then ties up at the back which is so adorable you've got a little cutout in the front here as well and it's a really nice thin knit material i always love a tie up back because you can obviously pull it and adjust it to however you like this is such a perfect summer staple i'm going to be wearing this all the time in summer i already just know it you can dress this up or down put it with some cute heels or dress it down with some slides or some cute sandals perfect for a little picnic lunch dinner date and I also love with the strap that goes around the neck, it's a double strap. So it's not just the one singular strap. I love this look. To me, little details like that mean so much. It makes all the difference. Next step is concealer. I'm just going to go in again with this Tarte Shape Tape and put it only under my eyes. I only put concealer under my eyes. I don't do anything anywhere else. Blend that in, and I drag that quite high up underneath the wing. So that concealer is all blended in. We're going to go in with some cream contour. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I love this so much. I will never use any other contour other than this. It's just the perfect, perfect shade. I am running out though, which is kind of concerning because I know that this is really hard to get your hands on. I go two dots on each side of my face and then I go crazy. Oops, I put that in my hair. I go crazy on the top here and I put some on my nose, like all over my nose like that. Grab a fluffy brush and blend that all over. I pretty much just blend that all the way up 
the side of my face in my temples because I like to have that all the way like around if that makes sense now that I look absolutely stupid I'm gonna go in with the NARS liquid blush I've only been using this for about three months as well and I love this so so much I get the little tip and I just put a couple dots on each side of my cheek and a little bit on my chin as well I put that just above the contour so it's pretty much right on top of the concealer right underneath my eye grab a blending brush and I just use the tip of that and blend it out I never used to use blush actually like never used to use blush but I have absolutely fallen in love with it it's probably one of my favorite products. before I do anything else I'm gonna set just to set everything make everything kind of not as crazy. There is construction going on right outside my windows. That is so annoying. I'm going to go in with that same beauty blender I used to blend the foundation. Dip that in there and just dab that underneath my eyes. In my smile lines as well because I get really bad smile lines and it creases really bad in there. I also go the edge of my nose as well across here as well i also just dab a little bit in my teaser because i get very oily here moving on to my next outfit so i've got this long sleeve long leg jumpsuit i haven't worn this out yet but i'm so excited to this is so flattering i am obsessed with this it's that same stretchy material as the other one that i showed you and once again this is a one size fits all we've got the two straps that sit here and also the long sleeve which sort of sits off the shoulder a little bit you've then got a crisscross detail in the front and then all down the leg all in the front part there's all these patterns and it looks so beautiful as you can see there's lots of patterns in this one as there was in the other one my next outfit is this tube top with attached long sleeves and this maxi skirt with a split in the side firstly i love this color very nice neutral kind of tone i just love that this has attached long sleeves if you watched my previous white fox haul you would have seen that i just love long sleeve tops for some reason i just love having a sleeve i think it really just puts together the outfit this would also be perfect for mixed matching even this with just like a nice white skirt or denim jeans this skirt is so beautiful as well so you've got the really big split in the side you've also got the butterfly clip and a zip at the back too which is really nice so my next step is to brush all of this off now i'm going to go in with the kat von d shade and light contour palette and very lightly go over where I have contoured. Next, I'm going to go in with the Dior Backstage Blush in shade Rosy Glow. And just like how we did with the contour, I'm just going to go over where I have put the blush. I just do this just in case any of the product has got lost underneath the translucent powder. And to add a little bit more colour back into my face. Before moving on, I'm going to show you a, another outfit. So like I said, I've been loving my jumpsuit so much recently. This is just your plain, basic black jumpsuit. So adorable. I just know I'm going to be living this in summer. This material is so stretchy as well, by the way. It's a really nice ribbed material. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, it's really nice ribbed material. Perfect for running errands in. Even chucking this over the top of a bikini and going to the beach will be perfect. In the straps at the top, you also have this really cute knot detail. See, it's little things like that that I just absolutely love. I feel like that just gives such like a nice little vibey summery kind of look this one also comes quite low in the back which is so beautiful next step i get this shockwaves hairstyling gel it's literally five dollars from priceline and i get the brush end of the eyebrow pencil we used earlier and dip that into the gel put it all through my brows i especially brush it up at the Front. we're nearly there time for highlighter i don't actually know what the name of this is but the brand is tart and i'm using champagne glow i literally just put a little bit on the tip of my nose and in this little bit here like right in between my eyes 
For the sake of the video, I'm going to put a little bit in my inner corners. Before I move on to my final step, I'm going to show you my last couple outfits that I have. The first one is this jacket. And I have paired it with the skirt that goes with it. I'm obsessed with this khaki color. With the skirt, you've got two pockets in the front and you've also got a zipper. In the front as well, when I'm wearing this, I usually roll this down to give a more low-waisted kind of look. And I've been loving to pair it with the first white crop that I showed you, or even just like a plain white bikini top. It's just such a perfect jacket to chuck over the top of an outfit. On the front pocket, you've got a little engraving of white fox. So there's two pockets in the front. So obviously two pockets in the side down the bottom as well. On the bottom, there's like a ruching detail on either side, which gives more of like a bomber jacket kind of look. And I have the same thing, but in a different color. This beige cream color this is just like an ultimate must have i paired this with a white bikini top underneath and it looked so good i'm obsessed with this color i've been loving 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 my neutrals lately Mwah, perfect moving on to my final step for lip liner i use mac i always use mac lip liners i love them so much i swear by them in shade saw so basically what i do is I go way over my top lip. I don't really like a defined cupid's bow either. I like it to be kind of like very straight across, very round lips. I like a very round kind of lip. When I come down to the corner of my lip, I really overline it and I bring the corner even further out. If that makes sense, I'll try and come up close and show you what I mean. And I just kind of fill it in a little bit. This is my absolute holy grail. I do not leave the house without this. So this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. And I use the shade Fenty Glow 02. It's just so glossy. And I love a glossy lip. Once everything is done, I go in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Fix and Go Spray. And give my face a bit of a spray. And this is the finished look. My makeup routine really just like depends on where I'm going, what I'm doing, how long I have to have the makeup before. But this is basically a rundown of what I do every single time. I will leave all the products down in the description below. And if you have any questions about the products or about my routine, please do not hesitate to ask me. And I also hope you guys enjoyed my little haul section. Don't forget that I do have a discount code. It is Saskia in all caps for 15% off so don't forget that when checking out and that white fox offer I have to pay for all Australian United States and New Zealand customers as well as free express shipping worldwide I will also leave links to all the pieces that I showed you guys in the description box below thank you for watching Mwah.